Okay, here we have 5 over 7 minus square root of 5. We know square root of 5 is irrational, and then right here, the denominator is once again irrational, right? So of course, the direction is telling us to rationalize the denominator. In this case, we have two terms, the 7 minus the square root of 5, right? And this is what we do. We have to use the conjugate in this situation. So here, you see, in between, it's a subtraction. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 7. Instead of the minus, we'll change this to plus. And this is, stays the same. We multiply the bottom and the top by 7 plus square root of 5. And do the same on the top right now. 7 plus square root of 5. And the idea of doing this is so we can use this formula right here. Let me just put it down real quick. We know a, let me just put on a minus b. When we multiply this with a plus b, this is going to give us a squared minus b squared, right? And the idea is, you see here we have the minus situation, which is the first one. I have to multiply by the second one so that the quick way to do this is the first term square and then subtract the second term square. So let's work out the bottom because that's the heart of the situation. And you can draw the arrows, do the foil, or you can use this formula. Let's use this. So 7 minus square root of 5 times 7 plus square root of 5. All we have to do is take the first term, which is the 7, so let me put it down, and we square that, and we minus. We put down the second term which is the square root of 5, and then we square that. Work this out, this is 49 minus square root of 5. Square is just a 5. 49 minus 5 is 44, and that's it for the denominator, isn't it? So overall, in the denominator, we just have a nice number, 44. So be sure you do this, and then you can do some computations right here, like that. And on the top, you see we have 5 in front of this parentheses, 5 times 7 plus square root of 5, right? Be sure you take the 5 and distribute into the parentheses. 5 times 7 gives us 35, and then be careful with this. This 5 does not have a square root. This 5 is inside of the square root. 5 times square root of 5, the only thing we can do is, let's put on the plus first, and then we'll just put them together. 5 times square root of 5. This is it.